Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the latest updates with regard to FINRA, the SEC and Congress. We're also going to be looking at some new developments with regard to one of the FINRA government, uh, governors that has uh, had uh, deemed to have had an alleged link with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And uh, this is an, based on an article uh, that has uh, just been released from CNBC. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to be looking at a review of the weekly watch list. So before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here, stocks lump uh, and traders pass the Fed minutes. The S&P 500 are stuck uh, below the key level in light of summer trading. And uh, in um, another headline here, we can see that the Fed minutes show that most officials continue to worry about significant upside inflation risks. Uh, so this is uh, obviously a, a key concern right now. However, on a little bit more of a positive note, hey, shout out to Stock Market News who stated the FOMC minutes. Staff see, now see no recession in 2023. However, we are looking at potentially getting subdued economic growth in 2024 to 2025. So I'm going to start with a shout out to Anna Trades, who's posted here news update. Uh, SEC responded to the letter saying they're going to schedule a, a briefing with Congress. However, no date has yet been said. So uh, John Bader did, did ask a question and he stated, uh, great, uh, be great to know if this will be public behind closed doors or open. And can we or the community be present? So Anna is going to be working on getting the answers to this. So we will stay tuned and uh, obviously provide updates on developments with this news as well. Let's now have a look at the article from CNBC dated August the 15th, 2023. And the headline here, Jeffrey Epstein referred Obama White House counsel to JP Morgan as a potential customer. So uh, obviously we're talking here also about um, basically a person by the name of Catherine Rumler and JP Morgan Chase, who obviously she works there. And uh, four months before he was arrested on uh, obviously child sex trafficking and other similar charges. Rumler, who is now the general counsel for Goldman Sachs, Sex was touted by Epstein's personal assistant to JP Morgan as a would be customer at the filing show. So, this is uh, obviously quite concerning. So, there is a suggestion that JP Morgan uh, take Rumler on as a client, which the bank warmly embraced. So, or again, it looks like uh, signific significant favors here are being done, which is uh, certainly not how it should be. Further down the line, it states here Rumler, who is now general counsel for Goldman Sachs, was, was touted by Epstein's personal assistant and obviously there is suggestions uh, that for JP Morgan to take her on as a client. However, in this article, there is one, one thing that is being omitted and that is uh, a link between this person and FINRA. So we're going to have a look at that now. We know the uh, CNBC article confirms that Catherine Rumler works at Goldman Sachs. However, what it fails to state is her connection with FINRA. So we have a look at the FINRA website here. We can see that she's an industry governor, floor member representative, and she has been on the committee of nominating and government governance committee, regulatory policy committee, and she has been a governor since 2021. Uh, so uh, let's now have a look at an article here from Broke and Broker who uh, has uh, just posted August 16, 2023, Finra Board of Governors confronted with troubling uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, development. So again, this is uh, quite worrying, but I've highlighted some key sections here. We know that Epstein was involved in establishing a client relation Ship with Obama White House counsel Catherine Rumler, according to the CNBC article in JP Morgan Chase, February 2019. Rumler is obviously the general counsel for Goldman Sachs, was touted by Epstein as a personal assistant to JP Morgan and also as an ideal customer. Uh, this is what the filing states. The suggestion that uh, Rumler take on as a client, which the bank warmly embraced. So the bank 
obviously accepted and took her on so again um, looks like the favor was carried out and this comes after six years after jp morgan said it had effectively fired epstein so again uh worrying uh, so rumler de has declined to comment but what i'm going to look at here further down in the article as i stated earlier what it doesn't say in the cnbc article january 2021 since 2021 that the finra board of governors appointed rumler to fill the floor member of, of the governor's seat and this is the worrying thing there was no election so rumler was handpicked and her appointment was approved by the full board that certainly strikes me as uh, something very worrying and obviously um, i would hope that finra can confirm whether she was handpicked or whether she was uh, going through some due diligence and an interview and with some background checks. So the governors who voted to approve Rumler's nomination should have known her background with regard to the troubling allegations set out in the pending 2010 class action against Goldman Sachs. So again, looks like uh, FINRA have not uh, carried out research on this person. A larger question now arises as to whether the board of FINRA should have known about her obviously alleged Epstein connection. Uh, the board was presented with any basis to reconsider the appointment as a governor or to request her resignation. And again, a reminder here uh, with regard to FINRA, they are not a company. They are in fact a self-regulatory organization. So they believe they have immunity. Uh, however, the, the author of the article here is stated that he's disgusted with the board's seeming failure to have properly vetted the candidate, candidacy of Rumler. So again, FINRA, in uh, look at not coming out um, in obviously in glowing colors here so i think more questions to ask and then other developments i'd like to give a shout out here to richard hoffman who's uh, provided us with an update with regard to what's going on in uh, with ast and he states here complaint against ast has been filed and is now out for service and he will obviously keep us updated and uh, again we have seen three tragic deaths uh, recently in the MMTLP community and unfortunately I am uh, now going to share with you news of a fourth tragic death and uh, this is obviously shared by Miss Deborah who stated RIP Sissy Jamie was an MMTLP shareholder her one question was where is Ari so again very sad news and uh, Anna Trades have posted here our angels sending love to all the family and friends forever in our hearts so obviously we have Susan we have Ben we have uh, Tony and now we have uh, obviously uh, the fourth person just identified I finally like to finish off by giving a quick review of our weekly watch list in the previous week we called out stocks such as USM that was up 21% on the week TDS that was up 17.5% on the week TEAM up 4% on the week after Monday's dip TTOO we have been monitoring for quite a while up 7.3% last week and I think in the previous video I've covered that uh, that was also covered in the daily stock alerts and up in excess of 100% over the previous five days and uh, so far we've also covered um, uh, TSAT, E-T-O-N, I-N-O-N which are also doing uh, fairly well however I think there has been some significant pullbacks today in many of the stocks so uh, finally if you'd like to get more uh, updates in our live trading in the Discord details are in the description below thank you very much for watching please stay tuned